Well, this Christmas, all a Norfolk family wants is answers about their son's murder. Randy James was killed on Christmas Eve in 2015. He was found shot to death in his apartment on West Ocean View Avenue. The person who was responsible still hasn't been found. And to your sides, Kayla Gaskins talked to James' dad today. She joins us live in the newsroom. Kayla, I'm sure this is a hard time of year for them. Yes, Anita, it's an incredibly hard time of year. Losing a loved one is always hard, but for Randy James's family, the anniversary of his murder is forever tied to Christmas Eve. And the worst part, according to his father, is it's been four years and they still don't know who's responsible. The holidays are a time for visiting family. And this is the site where he's buried at. Instead of a warm, decorated home, David James has to visit his son here at Riverside Memorial Park. We just remember him in our hearts. Randy James was shot and killed in Ocean View on Christmas Eve in 2015. His father vividly remembers getting the phone call that day. It's what every parent hates to get. Um, parents don't expect to bury their children. With no solid leads on who pulled the trigger, the police investigation went cold. It's four years next Tuesday. And for Randy's family, the lack of answers makes it hard to heal. If you get closure to know who did it and the person was held accountable, then that give you a sense of, okay, he's gone now, but the people responsible have been dealt with. David James believes someone out there knows something. I've always felt there, there is no perfect crime. And regardless of what you want to believe, somebody other than the perpetrator and the victim knows. Yeah. By you not saying anything, you're not protecting anyone. You, you actually allowing the behavior to continue because everybody thinks I can just do it. Nobody's going to say nothing. James says it's his family in pain today and if those with information don't come forward and the cycle continues, it could be their family in pain tomorrow. And it's got to stop. It's got to change. If you know anything about Randy James's murder, call the crime line. Remember, you can remain anonymous. Coming up at 6, what David James says to his son every time he visits his grave. In the newsroom, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.